So let's rock and roll. Charm City Devils, Rock Baltimore. Charm City Devils. I gave the double. Joe only gave one. I have had the pleasure of playing Let's Rock and Roll. And it's real rock and roll. When we first heard Charm City Devils, the initial feeling was that this is a real rock band. This new Charm City Devils record is the kick-ass album that ACDC did not make this last time around. He recorded all the stuff in the studio by himself. I mean, he, he did the drum tracks, he did the vocals, the guitar parts, and the bass. There are sounds in there where you could hear the doors closing. <laughs> you hear me walk in. I remember hearing John's music for the first time in 2006, and it was so refreshing to hear authentic, real rock and roll. Especially nice to hear it coming from Baltimore. A lot of guys try to move elsewhere to, to make it, you know, we decided to stay. You know, stay home, stay true to our roots in Baltimore. Baltimore's a blue collar town. Baltimore's a really unpretentious town. And even though John's got this great rock persona when he's on stage, meeting him person to person and sitting down and talking to him, you realize that he's really hard working and really unpretentious himself. I came into the fold with SR seventy one. After the first record had come out, I jumped on a tour with them and then uh, wrote and recorded a little bit on the second record. It was a, it was a great experience, uh, you know, touring the, the world and, and playing for different crowds. I think that um, that live experience is invaluable. It's the music director from IYY came out and we were actually playing here and he saw us play and he's like, that song, that's rock and roll sounded really good tonight. I need you to do me a favor. I'm like, what, what, what is it? He said, I need, I need a copy of that song. We're going to add the song this week. I'm like, you know, you're doing us a huge favor. One of my favorite tracks on the record is Let's Rock. It's honest, straight in your face and the hook's undeniable. I noticed that I had a, a voicemail. So I checked it and he's like, hey John, this is Nikki Six. I was like, holy shit. I gotta call him back, but I'm scared. <laughs> Any band that has the Nikki Six seal of approval has a great chance to succeed. Um, you know, Charm City Devils is his first signing and he's going to put his passion and his effort behind it. You know, I hear elements of Aerosmith. And you know, I feel ACDC. And it's important that they don't really sound like anybody. They, they have a little bit of everybody in them. And I think that rock fans are dying for that. They're dying. When I first heard them, I was just like, thank you, thank you. Almost Home, I think, was one of the songs that, that, that kind of just happened. There's like a, there's an experience that some other songwriters say where it seems like there's another uh, force or something that kind of just guides it along and it just, just sort of happens, you know. It's about my mom, about, you know, when, uh, when we finally got her to get a uh, mammogram and we found out that she, she did in fact have a lump. It's about, you know, my dad calling me and uh, saying, you know, I, I need you to, to come home. He didn't know how to um, break the news to her that the doctor had found something. I've had, I've had some uh, great opportunities and I've had some, uh, you know, little, little successes here and there, but, you know, uh, I don't give up very easily. I keep banging my head against the fucking wall. <laughs> They're putting something together that has just tons of momentum and tons of fun that goes with it. Fucking rock, man! Charm City Devils. Modern rock. Classic riffs.